Saturday. Y'all know what time it is. Love Next Door, episode 15. I'm done watching the episode. This is your standard spoiler warning. First of all, let me start off by saying whoever made this episode, F you and all you stand for. Because nigga, I ain't never cry watching an episode as much as I did today. How dare you play with my feelings like this? As always, the episode starts off being called Bravo My Life. But as we get to the end, we see that when it changes, it's actually called Be My Love. First of all, that scene alone, oh my gosh, it almost would bring a titty out, but this ain't do it. Let me walk y'all through cinematically why whoever did this deserves a beat down for toying with my emotions like this. Golly, I'm starting to tear up already just remembering the scenes. This was one of them scenes. Now, as we all know, he's retiring. He's closing up his shop. So Don Ho is interviewing him for a story he's doing about retirement. And this whole scene, because we've seen the struggles of this shop for him throughout the season. This whole scene, dog, waterfalls in my eyes. Don Ho's asking him, like, yo, do you have any regrets? He says no. Even after everything that happened to him, how much he struggled to make money, he has no regrets with this happiest times he's had with the shop when people say his food tastes good does he have he asked himself what would you tell yourself knowing you're retiring now and he they gave him the close-up this was his answer and this this hit my soul nigga it touched me in a way because i'm thinking when i retire whatever like my life's career is going to be when i retire i want to be able to say the same thing when i'm retiring hey d money great job you did well. When it comes to retiring, that's everybody's goal. Great job. At the end of the day, can you say that, nigga? Oh, my heart. This scene, too, this was his last day with the shop. Nobody was coming in. Then randomly, he gets this person. And not even knowing what's happening, he gives her an extra order of fish cakes. And she reveals, yo, this has been my go-to spot whenever something bad has happened to my life. When I bombed my exam, I came here, you cheered me up, and you gave me an extra order of fish cakes. He didn't even remember that. He just did that. And when, when he told her this is his last day, she said, I would have regretted not coming here my entire life if I missed your last day. It's those type of moments where you're, you're impacting somebody's life. You're making a, a core fundamental memory in a certain part of their life, and you don't even know it. That's how you know you did a good job, man. Damn, that hit me too. The mother's reconciling, getting all their differences out, cause she always felt inferior, she admitted it. And she was like, yo, you do such a good job with the kids. You can cook, you raise a healthy family. That's something I could never do. I paid you to raise my son because I know you could do a great job doing it and that's a priceless skill. In my opinion, you didn't get paid enough is what she's telling herself. So they're reconciling, the kids, they find out the kids are dating slash kind of engaged already. They talk about that, they start crying, I start crying, it's a whole thing. And I think this was the last moment that got me to shed a tear. Mo Yum is explaining how she wants to be her new mom and she's like, I'll never replace your real mom but I hope that I can be your best friend. And I promise you, I'll win relay races at Parents' Day. I'll make sure you don't have to eat spinach and carrots, yada, yada, yada. And I'll, I'll take good care of him. And she's like, I had a dream that you were my mom. We went off to space and you guys got married. And then Yondu says, please, you're my best friend. I want you to be a best friend to my dad. Oh my gosh, just to see like this is becoming a real thing. It's, they're a real family. Yondu gives her, her the approval to be her new mom. Oh my gosh, the conversation was so beautiful. She's such a well-spoken kid too. Brought another tear to my eye. This episode, damn the producer who thought this up. Damn you for tugging my heartstrings so much this episode. How dare you? How effing dare you? How could I forget this scene too? So he proposed to her twice because the first one she rejected, the second one she accepted. She thought it was unfair, so she cooked him his favorite food and gave him a whole speech about how she'll always cook this his entire life. It takes so much effort. She has to cook each ingredient one by one. She smells like oil by the end. But for him, she would do it every day happily. And she says, this is my proposal to you. You did it twice. I felt like it was unfair. It's my turn. And he was so touched. He was just like, I get to eat the rainbow every day. This is the sweetest proposal of my life. And they seal it with a kiss. The kids are engaged. The kids are going to get married. Oh, this was, this was a touching moment, too. How could I forget this? And now it's with a heavy heart that I tell y'all. This is the penultimate review for this season. Because this is a 16-episode season. This was episode 15. And tomorrow, the last episode drops. 
And when it comes to these K-dramas, the more I like it, the more I get invested, the harder it hurts to know that the season's coming to an end, that I'll no longer get to spend time with these characters. So I'm actually genuinely also a little sad about that. Because when I really love a K-drama, I, I don't want it to end. It's kind of like if you like the Big Bang Theory. You know, you want 12 seasons of that. Imagine a Big Bang series being one, one season, being two seasons. Or something else that you really like. You know, Arrow, The Flash, Supernatural. Imagine something you really get invested in. You get one season with those characters and they wrap up the story just like that. When it comes to these K-drama, I really do get invested in the, the connections, the feelings, the emotions. And every time when it gets to the last episode, it hurts a little bit to know that I won't get to see these characters go through anything else. So that's why I say it's with a heavy heart that I got to tell y'all tomorrow is the last review of the season. It's likely to not get a season two because it looks like it's going to wrap up perfectly. And I'm not mad about a perfect wrap up. I'm just sad that I don't get to continue my experiences with these characters. So lock in tomorrow. We're going to get this done, crew. Uncrowned Kingdom. I've been your boy, Uncrowned Otaku.